tortoise pose or kurmasana. Kurmasana in Sanskrit is a combination of kurma and asana. Kurma means tortoise and asana means pose. In this pose, the legs stretches forward and the hands backward while the back bend forward. This whole structure of the curved back and stretched legs, hands backward, looks like a tortoise. Generally, on sudden change or on threatening tortoise withdraws itself into its shell. Similarly, kurmasana is the pose that lets our senses draw inward and detach from the worldly distractions. Therefore, one can experience pratyahara by practicing kurmasana. This pose deeply stretches the hamstrings and is a great way to invoke relaxation. Begin in dandasana. As you inhale, spread your legs further than shoulder width apart. This pose is usually practiced with the heels off mat so that it is easy for you to slide your heels back and forth. As you exhale, slide your heels back towards you and bend your knees slightly off the ground no more than one feet. Inhale, press your hands away from the ground to lift your hips up. Exhale, push your hips back and anchor the sitting bones into the mat. Inhale, raise your arms to the sides of your head. As you exhale, lean body forward and lower the hands down onto the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lower the elbows down. Bend your torso slowly as you lean forward. Slide each of your arms out to the side with palms facing down. As you move your arms underneath of your legs, you can move your body side to side. Keep your arms beside of your hips. Your arms should naturally slide underneath your slightly raised knees. Keep your elbows locked and arms low to the ground. Slide the heels out away from the body to straighten the knees. This will bring your chest and head forward. Continue lowering your head until your chin touches the ground. Once your arms are spread and grounded and head fully lowered, your legs should be resting onto the upper arms and not the elbows. Your knees are fully extended and your feet in a flexed position. The legs are kept active all time so that the weight of the legs are not heavy into the arms. In the final position, extend your gaze ahead of you as you draw inward. Relax and take deep breaths. Allow your thoughts to shift from the external world to your internal world. Let go of pressure, tension and stress, both physically and mentally. Hold the pose for approximately 30 seconds while taking gentle breaths. To release the pose safely, point toes and start the heels back slightly. This creates a space between the legs and the arms. The torso is lifted. Inhale. Slowly slide the arms up from the legs one at a time. And return back to Dandasana. The other version of Kurmasana, the head lower down towards the feet. In this version, the hips are exrotated with the soles of the feet coming together. The arms are raised to the sides of the head to land on the spine in an inhalation. Exhale, hinging on the hips and the hands lower down to the mat. Slowly the torso lean forward and reaching out with the help of the hands. While keeping the soles of the feet together, the torso is coming down closer to the ground and finally the face rests under the feet. Stay here for a minute and slow breathing. To release from the pose, inhale and reverse the order of movement. Once you gain more flexibility on your hips and your back, you can practice in a sitting position. In this position, the legs are drawn behind of the shoulders one at a time. The arms slowly snuck out from the back of the legs. The foot will be crossed over to the other side of the shoulders. You want the hand down supporting, raise the leg up onto the wall as a support. Using the same side of the hand to stabilize the leg that's 
behind of the shoulder. Then the leg slowly flex the hip and accent rotate the hip and bring the arm underneath of the leg. Keep the feet in the wall and so you walk across to cross at the ankles. Hook the ankles firmly. Once stable, the hands places on the wall and slowly push your body away, balancing on the hips. Sit in position with the hands on the wall or gradually walk the hands down to the floor and place the hands outside the hips. Inhale, press the hands away from the floor to lift the hips up. Stay in this final position for as long as you feel comfortable and you can breathe. To release, lower the hips down and cross the ankles, place your feet at the wall. Slowly release the arms and the torso and lower the feet one at a time to the floor. And return back to Dandasana.